ladies, Angela here, and I can't wait to talk to you today about a topic that I think is so important for women if you are having this symptom, and that is hair thinning or hair loss as you move towards perimenopause and that menopause shift. This can start as early as the age of 35, but for most women, they're starting to notice a lot of changes in regards to hormone symptoms as they get into their mid to late 40s and early to mid 50s. For some women, they can notice a lot of thinning to their hair. They can notice it as they gather it to put it in their ponytail, that it's quite thin. The ponytail's getting smaller and smaller. They they notice that if they run their hand through their hair, they're either getting a gathering of that hair in their hand, or they're noticing that the hairline is starting to recede to the back. And it can be quite distressing. A lot of women tell me they think that if they continue to go in this pattern, that they feel like they're going to lose literally all their hair in the next little while. Some women say they feel like it's even in the next few months. I want to just let you know that it's not uncommon to have changes to your hair health as you get closer to and transition into menopause. This is somewhat normal, but for some women, they can have accelerated changes this way. So we need to figure out why that is. As estrogen and progesterone, our main female sex hormones, lower, it actually does change our hair health. Our hair becomes uh, a little bit weaker. It's easier to fall out. It's not as strong. It's often not as shiny. It's a little bit drier, a little more brittle. We do actually have to do some extra things to maintain and even improve our hair health in this time of life. And we can. So some other things that are lowering for our body in this time of life are some of our collagen production, which also supports not only hair health, but skin and nail health. It's also one of the reasons that we do get a few more fine lines and wrinkles. This is part of the aging process. It's natural and normal, but it is also part of our hair health. So there are some things we can do. And one of the main ways to improve our hair health as our hormone levels lower is to improve our gut health status and our mineral health status. There are some key minerals that do support hair health, zinc, selenium, magnesium, iron levels. Often women do become iron deficient, especially in perimenopause. If you're having more irregular or heavy bleeding, you may become more deficient in this particular mineral than you may have in other points in your life. And it definitely has has a huge impact on your hair health. So we need to be thinking. Unfortunately as well, what happens as we age is we actually don't digest as well and we don't absorb our nutrients as well. So we need to be a little bit more on top of it with making sure we're bringing in the right nutrients, number one, and then our gut health is optimized enough that we can absorb these nutrients, number two. How do we do this? There's some basics. There is a lot of minerals in many different foods, but of course there are healthy whole foods. They're not our processed packaged foods. Foods like seeds, nuts, those are where our minerals are contained. If you do eat meat, it's very rich in certain types of healthy grass-fed meat. Lean meats is what we're looking for. You may also, if you are okay with eating this, bringing in some organ meat, very rich in minerals, especially iron if you are deficient at all in iron. Beef liver in particular is very rich in these nutrients. So there is certainly a lot that we can do through foods and a healthy lifestyle. The other thing is we need to be reducing inflammation in our bodies. So very commonly, inflammation as it goes up, our ability to absorb and utilize nutrients goes down. And the ability for us to keep our hormones balanced as they're lowering also goes down. So for some women, they will produce a non-optimal hormone from testosterone called DHT. And this can also cause our hair to fall out. And this is much more common if we have inflammation. So we need to be thinking, am I sleeping properly? Am I getting enough exercise? Am I managing my stress well? Am I doing things to keep my cortisol, which is that primary response to stress, more balanced in my body? Am I eating too much sugar? Am I eating too many carbs? This can not only lead to problems with our hair, but also problems with other aspects of our health, especially as we age. There are some things that you can do right away, some tangible things with nutrition and lifestyle, but often we need to be looking deeper and understanding specifically where our hormone imbalances or nutrient deficiencies lie for us as an individual. And for that, you're going to rely on someone such as myself to do the hormone testing and the nutrient testing. And so if you do feel that you might be at this point, you're wondering how you can get your hair health back on track, you can have it start growing in versus falling out, which is still possible at your age, please feel free to reach out to me. So you can connect with me through my website site at www.angelasimpsonfunctionalmedicine.ca. You can also connect with me if you haven't already through my private Facebook group. If you haven't joined, please ask too. I have lots of great tangible tips like this and more in that group. And I bring Facebook lives to an awesome group of females every week. Functional medicine for hormonal imbalances is what it's called. And if you haven't liked me and followed me on all my socials yet, highly recommend that you do if you're enjoying this video and you want more information on how you can learn how to rebalance your hormones naturally. So you can follow me on YouTube, on Instagram, on TikTok, and again on Facebook. So happy to see you here. Thank you so much. And I hope I will see you again so I can share more and more tips on how you can learn how to rebalance your hormones naturally as you move towards and into that transition into perimenopause, menopause, and beyond. Thanks, ladies. Bye for now.